All right, so now, Bride of Chucky. Oh yeah, this one. This one was fun. This one was fun, but this was about where we started to like peter out on the movies and realize yeah. this was a mistake. Yeah, because okay, Bride is not a bad movie. No, I, I don't think it's a bad movie by any means. The problem with it is just a lot of it has aged like fucking milk. Oh yeah. Like holy shit, there's so much. It, the, is this the one that opens up with Rob Zombie? Yeah. Yeah, this one opened up with Rob, with Rob Zombie. That's that. Rob Zombie makes up like 50% of the soundtrack. Yeah, that's all we should have to say about the movie. Yeah. Oh, and there's also a fucking goth. There's yeah. multiple goths. There's a big titty goth Jeff, and she's also one of the main characters. Yeah. So, okay, the, the whole idea behind this movie is that Chucky's old girlfriend, played by Jennifer Tilly, also known as Bonnie yeah. from fucking Family Guy, if you recognize that. Yeah. But she finds what's left of Chucky, stitches him back together, and tries to use voodoo to bring him back to life. Which we were making the joke the entire time, because at first it fucks up and doesn't work, that Chucky just wanted to die. Yeah, Chucky wanted to stay dead. He's like, please stop. People keep hurting me. You small children keep fucking me up. I don't want to be a part of this world. Yeah. But eventually, she does manage to bring Chucky back to life. He kills, uh... What's, what's his fucking name? Arquette? Uh, Alexis Arquette. She, Alexis Arquette, yeah. Uh, and, and this was before, uh, I guess, the transition. Yeah. So it was still he. Yeah. But ends up killing him, her, whichever you want. Fuck yeah. it. But then she kind of says, oh, yay, Chucky, now we're together. Now we can be married. Chucky says, fuck that. Fuck married. You can't tie me down. Yeah, you can't tell me what to do. Which immediately backfired. <laughs> Which he immediately horribly backfired, because then she just locked him in a cage. Which again brings up like how strong is Chucky really? Because it's literally just a wooden cage she has him in, like a baby crib. It's not even wood. It's like that fake wood you buy at like Home Depot for two bucks. It's fake. It's fake shit wood. Yeah. And and like it, it's still keeping him there. Yeah. And she just shit talks him. Yeah. And then he breaks out, kills her, and turns her into you know the doll, the Tilly doll. Yeah. Which, you know, the, this is definitely a fun movie, mainly because of Jennifer Tilly and Brad Dourif. Yeah, they play off of each other so well. Like, they are the most fun of the entire yeah, we, series. Uh, a real, a really big down part is this B-plot that the movie has where it's a, a young couple, and they're and they're kind of the driving force of it that's, uh, this, yeah. uh, like, traveling with, with Chucky and them. But uh, they're, the, they're the driving force of it, where it's, we're going to use them to get from point A to point B, and it's just fucking, it's just awful. I, I hate both of them so it, much. Like, it's not even just that they're bad actors, it's that the dialogue was agony. Yeah, and then, like, uh, the leaps in logic come, come back full fucking force. With a fucking vengeance. Yeah, where, like, uh, someone goes missing, uh, two cops are killed. And uh, just a civilian, just a random fucking civilian who knows for a fact that they couldn't have done it, claims that they that they blew up a cop's car. Yeah, and that leads into this whole other thing. But okay, so the thing about the young couple is they're kind of like a Romeo and Juliet type deal, yeah. you know, or like she's part of, I guess, like this richer family has this asshole uncle. Yeah, that's taking care of her and is like, no, you can't see that boy because fuck you. He's fucking white trash. Yeah, literally has a fucking police officer on his payroll. Yeah actually harass and stalk the guy yeah always pulls him over the dude even fucking plants weed yeah. in his car yeah, he tries to plant weed in his car and that's when the uncle gets fucking destroyed by chucky yeah like it is just this thing where it's like god dude you're such a fucking asshole yeah and and it, what it comes down to is they're trying to set up the motive and like why either of them would want to kill them and yeah the, the problem is it's not even that they were ambiguous on who killed anybody you it's fucking you, Chucky. Yeah, you you know it's Chucky, uh, except for one one cop, which is actually Tilly. Yeah, yeah, and and really, just the way that these cops died, you know for a fact, it's like there's no possible way anyone could think this. Yeah, someone had to snap like fucking real hard for like their first murder to be like blowing a guy up full of nails or something like that. Blow well, not even that wasn't well, no, even the, the first guy that died. The, the first guy gets his throat slit by Tilly. But the, and he died like miles away in a fucking parking garage. Yeah, the the first kill that that's actually a confirmed kill is whenever they blow the car or whenever Chucky uh, stuffs a rag in a tailpipe and bl I think it's a tailpipe. A uh, gas can. No, it, it, it's in the it's in the gas and yeah, then he lights tank. it on fire. Because I made no country for old man jokes. Yeah, and he blows he blows this cop car up with the cop in it. Yeah, and it's just like that that's pretty fucking extreme. For yeah. someone's, like, first foray into killing. Yeah, and not just that, but 
The main guy is right in front of his van. Yeah, he's in front of his van. It blows up. He's panicking in front of his van still. His girlfriend went to go buy chips. We need to we need to establish that. Yeah. So she she wasn't there, so she didn't see him. But she gets back, and then a random they get in the van. They're freaking out, and a random civilian just looks at him and goes, "Hey, they're the ones that did it. They blew him up." Yeah, and it's like you were like I, I'm pretty sure this woman was right there in the cloud, like in the crowd watching them. Yeah, and and not just that. It's also the fact that it's like holy fucking shit. You know for a fact, like, one, the chick has grocery bags. She yeah. was in the store. There would be video evidence. Two, the dude was in front of his van. There's all those witnesses right there. Yeah. And it's not like you can just, like, point at a car and say, kaboom, and it yeah. blows up. You would actually have to, like, go over there, blow it up. Yeah. And it, it sets up this whole this whole thing where they find a, they find the lighter of the, the first cop that was murdered in the movie, and they're like, oh, okay, so that means whoever did this... And and lit this car on fire it must have also been the one to kill this cop. Which that's not a bad. Lot. It's not it's not a bad leap in logic because you know how would the lab to get there, but then they're also like, which means that since the uncle is missing right now, he's not confirmed dead. Since he's missing, that means that whoever killed this first cop and blew up this other one had to have killed the uncle, which means it has to be one of these two kids. Which is where it's like, there, there excuse is, me? There is no possible reason anyone else in the world would want to murder a highly decorated police officer who has probably arrested hundreds of people. No possible reason. And is definitely a fucking huge piece of shit that can easily be paid off to do very, very bad things. A huge piece of shit that is not above stalking, harassing, and framing people to get what he wants. Yeah. No possible reason anyone else in the world beyond these two kids would want to kill him. Yeah, and you, like, you even brought it up that, like, a leap in logic that would make, like, some sort of sense would be, hey, you know, maybe the uncle did it since he's the one that's missing. Yeah, he's missing, not dead. Yeah. And the other two guys are police officers that he knew on a personal basis. Yeah, but no, we're gonna, we're gonna blame these kids, we're gonna call them the new fucking Bonnie, Bonnie and Clyde. Clyde. Yeah. And then... The worst leaps of logic are like these kids who are so fucking confident that they were gonna run away together with five hundred dollars to their name, get married, and like live the rest of their lives in fucking poverty. Yeah. Uh, they just loved each other this much. Uh, the moment they get in the van, they they just start immediately accusing each other. Yeah, it's like you fucking did. It. No, you fucking did it. Like it's one of those things where you know she didn't do it because she had fucking grocery bags. I can't get over the grocery bags. If she came yeah. back with nothing. And tried to say some story where it's like, yeah, they were out of stuff, I couldn't get it, or ran out of the store because shit was blowing up. She didn't yeah. think about grabbing stuff. That would at least make more sense. But you know she bought stuff. If she thought he did it, that'd be one thing because she wasn't there, she didn't see. It would be stupid, but it would be there. Because, honestly, who would think that dolls did it? Yeah. But it's just the fact that they try to do this whole whodunit thing, and Chucky and, you know, Tiffany are clearly, like, the ones that fucking did it. Yeah, they outright, they outright are, are the killers on screen. Yeah, and, and we know that's the case. And well, another thing that's fucking annoying is they constantly call back to the gay friend. Yeah, the gay friend who looks so fucking familiar. We have no idea who this guy is, but he looks like a dude that's been in every 90 horror movie ever. Yeah, like, I look at him and I, I he emanates a vibe of, I've totally been in Final Destination, but we, could, we couldn't prove it. Yeah, we could not prove it. We couldn't find anything about this guy. So we're just convinced no one gives a shit if this man's alive or not. Yeah, uh, but he, like, they keep calling back to him. Uh, they, they literally call him. And he's and he's like, hey, listen, you guys need to you guys need to go to the police. Which, to be fair, you know, not the worst idea. Yeah, that's honestly that's what they should do because because they even bring this was I think this was the movie that brought up the fact that whatever Chucky touches, his fingerprints are on it. Yeah, I, yeah, I think this is the one you just hear it as like a passing comment on the on the radio. I think it's like the lighter. Yeah, the lighter has his fingerprints on it, and no one questions like why is. Charles Lee Ray's fingerprints on this. Yeah, the most you get out of it is they're like, we're going to exhume his body, which and, puts a time limit on everything. Yeah, and we're gonna make sure that he's that he's actually dead. Um, and that's that's the whole thing behind it is they want to get an ambulance from his neck so they can transfer their their body or their souls back into real people bodies. Kind of retconning how it worked in the first movie. Yeah, apparently if you have this ambulance, you can just fucking like yeet your soul into any body that you want. Yeah. Uh, and they they have like a, a I guess a Photoshop picture of him from the like. Like from the first movie, and it's like just the as he's there. like, like I guess it's as he's bleeding out or something, and he has the he has the amulet around his neck, uh, which yeah. I thought was pretty funny. Yeah, because it's so blatant. It's like, oh, this is a 
this wasn't obvious we needed a MacGuffin. Yeah, and um, around that point is where the movie starts to get a little bit better because uh, the gay friend shows up at... Uh, uh, shows up like from out absolutely fucking nowhere. He just tracks um, him down. He she tracks him down. I guess they tell him where like what hotel they're staying at. She did, yeah. Yeah, and and he like knocks in the back of the van. Uh, he fucking hops in and everything, and he's like, "Hey guys, you know." I'm... He had the most justifiable reason on why he think they did it. Yeah, like at first he didn't think they did it. You know, he, he's like, "Listen, I know neither of you guys did it because you both sounded so sure about each other doing it when you when you fuckers called me on the phone. So I had to come here and talk you guys down. You know, you just need to go to the police." Then he opens a trunk, and, the, and he sees her uh, the, the girl's uncle's body riddled full of stab wounds and fucking nails in his face. Yeah. And then he loses his fucking mind. Yeah, then he's like, you fuckers did it. He holds them, he holds them both at gunpoint, uh, hails down a cop, and then uh, that's when Chucky's like, alright, no motherfucker, this is where the movie gets real. Uh, yeah. Hold, hold everyone else at gunpoint while this dude gets hit by a fucking, uh, by a fucking semi. And he's turned into fucking paste. He, he, he's just absolute fucking paste. Yeah. And then that's when the movie really, like, really starts to pick up. Because uh, Chucky Chucky and, and Tiffany hold uh, both of them at gunpoint. Yeah. They're like, listen, motherfucker. You're taking us to New Jersey. You're taking us to New Jersey. You don't you don't get a say in this or I'm going to blow your fucking brains out. Yeah. Uh, Chucky's handgun that he has is the strongest fucking thing I've seen. Because one bullet was able to take out, like, the entire front end of a, of a cop car. And uh, the, the tire, the front end, and the engine of a cop car. And the light. And the light, and it's like, what, what the fuck are you shooting, Chucky? Yeah, it's like, holy shit, dude. But this is where it does get a lot of fun because throughout the movie, you do get pieces of Chucky and Tiffany interacting with each other, making jokes. They yeah. fucking consummate their marriage, which is the the worst fucking scene ever. It, it's a nightmare because all you can think is, oh god, Team America, Team America, Team America, Team America before Team America, right? Yeah. And then it gets to a point where, you know, uh, Chucky and Tiffany are like playing this lovey-dovey couple where. Well, the girl's tied up and the dude's just driving while Chucky has a gun to his head. And it's funny because th this is a scene where I laughed my ass off so hard where she's trying, like, Tiffany's trying to act like a nice little housewife making Swedish meatballs and, and cookies she made, and all yeah, that. Yeah, she made fucking cookies for Chucky and everything. Yeah, and then, <laughs> and then uh, there was a saying that Tiffany had where she went, Oh, a lady slaves over a hot stove all day. The least the husband can do is wash the dishes. So the, the fucking, the main dude, like, looks in the rearview mirror, sees there's a bunch of dishes done, and, and, and he, like, calls the Chucky, he's like, hey, you know, like, she's pretty good cooking and everything, but, you know, she's a fucking, like, a horrible housekeeper. So Chucky's like, hey, you know, why don't you, uh, why don't you do those dishes? Yeah, and she freaks out. <laughs> she goes absolutely fucking mental. It, it was the best part of the yeah. fucking movie. With a little bit of egging on from, from the girl, she goes absolutely fucking ballistic, and it yeah. starts domestic dispute the movie, and it's the greatest fucking thing. Yeah, and, like, what would have made the scene so much better to me is if the two main characters were constantly Just, feeding the other yeah, side. Kept egging them on. Yeah, to the point where it's like, to the point where, like, Chucky's throwing shit at her, Tiffany's throwing shit at him, and just, you, I wanted the main guys to go like, yeah, yeah, totally fuck that guy up, he's a piece of shit, he's a pussy. Yeah, fuck her up, fuck her up, she deserves it. Yeah, cause, 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 like, even, uh, Tiffany makes a joke about Chucky, where it's like, oh, I bet you don't even have anything down there. <laughs> yeah, the fucking, um, uh, Tiffany makes a joke, uh, makes a joke of like, uh, you know, listen, like cheap plastic is is no no replacement for a good hard hunk of wood. And Chucky just looks at the main dude, and, and he's like, "Didn't hear complaining last night." <laughs> it's like, oh my god, this is so fucked up. But it's funny. Yeah, and then like they have to ruin it by getting on with the plot. Yeah, they had to ruin it by having the main characters try to survive. Fucking assholes. Yeah. They they yeet Tilly into a fucking oven and burn her alive. <laughs> yeah, burned her black completely, <laughs> like completely and totally charred. Uh, wreck, uh, wreck this RV that they had stolen from old couple. Yeah. And then uh, some gas spills out into the RV, and then it, it just fucking explodes. Yeah, it just blows uh, up. In a, in a way that should have killed the main the main dude, but, but it just didn't. He unfortunately gets out of it and yeah. is. And then yeah, it goes on, and Chucky has the chick dig up his body, and yeah, and the main dude threatens to kill Tiffany, and then Chucky gives him back the girl, and then yeah, they do a, a, a slave exchange if you would. Yeah, and then Chucky. You know, Tiffany just stabs Chucky, but it turns yeah. out he didn't die. Then he killed Tiffany. Like the the ending of the movie is still fun just because it's Chucky and Tiffany, but yeah. 
You, you just kind of feel like one of the end credits. Yeah, they, it did have one really good moment where they chuck uh, Chucky down into the into the grave with his with his actual human body, and, and he just, just goes out. fucking mental. Yeah, and they just take out the uh, the ladder, so he's like running around, freaking out. He's screaming, "Let me the fuck out of here! Let me the fuck out!" Yeah. And, and then the the cop shows up. Yeah, a cop that was actually kind of on their side, and his fucking assistant fucked them over so bad. Oh my god. Because like. This cop that shows up, he does an interview earlier in the movie, and you can actually tell he's still very like, we want to wait on the evidence, we don't know. And his fucking assistant barges in and says, yeah, we know these two kids did it. Yeah, he's just a fucking asshole. Like, I, I would have sat him down and be like, listen, you're suspended for fucking six months, asshole. Yeah, get your fucking papers, because you're not going to be here. Yeah, you don't fucking, you just don't do shit like that. Yeah, that was not cool. And then, you know, uh, Chick takes the gun from the cop and shoots Chucky, and he dies, and they bury him up. And so, then they actually they actually bring up the the point there like after she kills him, like she uh, she's like hey no one's gonna believe me about this and he's like yeah no one's gonna fucking believe you and then he just he kind of just gives him like lets her off the hook like yeah he basically says yeah no one's gonna believe you yeah so you, he should probably get going you should get going I'll, I'll clear your name with everybody don't worry about it yeah and uh or it's, it's don't get going it's go back home and stay home because I'm yeah. gonna clear your name but I need you to fucking cooperate yeah uh, which I, I I liked a little bit yeah. Um, then you get a, a stinger before the credits of Tilly, like the, the cops like poking Tilly's fucking dead body, and then she like gives birth to a fucking demon baby, and then it's <laughs> hard cut to the credits. Yeah, and that leads into C to Chucky, the best Chucky movie. Best slash what the fuck did we just watch? I I don't like I can't even describe it in just like one sentence, so you just have to go into detail. This was a movie I had to take notes on. I took notes on all of them, but this one I had to take notes just because. Holy shit, this is weird. Every time something came every, something came up, I could see like your face contort. You get you get the paper, write it down and you're like <sighs> Yeah, cuz okay. So this movie is really fucking meta. Yeah, it's really meta and it's uh, honestly it's outright a comedy. It is blatantly a comedy cuz I know a lot of people outright say Seed of Chucky is a dog shit, it's awful. I love this movie. Even, even like this was where we, we got really pissed off at the fact that we decided to watch all the movies. Yeah, but it had nothing to do with the movie. It was just we were getting exhausted. Yeah, we like we still were having a fucking hell of a time with this movie. Yeah, because I, I think the main reason this gets shit on so much is the fact that it's not a horror movie at all. Yeah, it's like... All, it doesn't feel like any of the other Chucky movies. Not even Bride of Chucky, really. No, like Bride of Chucky still tried to do some scares. Yeah. But this is... Like... Holy shit, the only thing that could possibly be scared of this movie is really small children. Anyone else, you will be laughing. Because this is a very... This almost feels like a South Park level comedy. Yeah, it, it was like permeated with like existential dread and shit. It was, it was, it was honestly kind of great. Yeah, because the, the whole idea of this movie is that the legend of Chucky and Jennifer and all that... Well, Jennifer Tilly with Tiffany. I always just call Jennifer Tilly's yeah, character... Yeah, I, I, I just call her Tilly because fuck it. Who, who, she, like, she is just jennifer tilly in this i mean yeah literally she's jennifer tilly in this yeah the, the whole idea in this movie is that the legend of chucky exists as in it all actually happened yeah so hollywood is making a movie based around it which i liked that idea there's actually a lot of ideas i really like it, it's it's almost reminiscent of uh if you ever seen the movie be uh, not be cool uh, get shorty uh with john travolta where he played a mafia guy trying to get into hollywood and he made a bunch of jokes on the hollywood system and all this it's <laughs> like it, it's almost reminiscent of that and it is fun because, as stated, if you are interested in the whole idea of like horror movies and Hollywood and all that, it pokes a lot of fun at it. Yeah. But at the same time, it can get really, really meta. Yeah. Because we're not even. I, I haven't even got to discussing what the whole idea of this movie is, which is they have a fucking kid. Yeah, their kid, uh, Glenn slash Glinda. Uh, which holy shit, that gets fucked. Yeah, which is um, it's the baby from the end of the last movie. Uh, apparently, uh... Somehow got to London. Yeah, apparently some asshole, like, hitchhiker from London was in America and found, like, found him, like, just somewhere in the grass, and he's like... Just oh. this little mass of flesh. Of flesh and sharp teeth, and he's like, it tried to fucking kill me, and he's... And Glenn's like, I just tried to give you a fucking hug, which I 100% fucking believe. Yeah. He just wanted to give him a hug. Yeah, and that is something I will say about the movie. Uh, it does have a really cool opening to this, where... It's like this long one shot of yeah. Glenn is in this house, 
and it's completely from his perspective. It's in first person. Yeah. And he's stalking this family, kills the mom, kills the dad, and then wakes up because it was all a nightmare he had where yeah. he has these recurring nightmares where he kills people. Where it, it does have really cool ideas with the idea that Glenn isn't inherently a murderer. He doesn't like to hurt people. He's yeah. trying to be a good person. And he's trying to figure out who he is because he's this half-human, half-doll Abomination. Creature. Yeah, he, he is an abomination of God. And the whole idea is he's trying to figure out who he is. All he knows is that he's a freak. That's in his own words. And he has this little like little tattoo on his wrist. The best part of this movie that says he's made in Japan. So he thinks he's Japanese. And he's trying to figure out, it's like, what the fuck like, am I? Like, who, who am I? So he's watching TV just because he works as like a like a ventriloquist dummy with the dude that picked him up. Yeah, he's just locked in a cage 24-7 until it shows. Yeah, and for some reason the dude's trying to make him scary. It's like, it's like you can make so much more money with him not being scary, my dude. Yeah, if he was just funny, that would work. Yeah. But the whole idea is he sees a commercial for the Child's Play movie that's coming on with like the actual apparent dead bodies of Chucky... And Jennifer Tilly, like Tiffany. Yeah, they they don't really elaborate on that, which is like weird because we're not sure if it's their actual bodies or if someone like like knew what the dolls looked like before they were like burned and all that shit, and, and just made, made recreations of them. It, it's kind of confusing in that regard, but I just assumed like they just literally picked up their bodies, <laughs> which is still kind of fucked, but whatever. Yeah. So this kid Glenn goes all the way to America to Hollywood to visit his parents, and he finds. Uh, Tiffany and Chucky and brings them back to life. Yeah. And then you just get the weirdest goddamn movie. Yeah, from from there just everything's everything's like a spiral. I don't want to call it downhill, but it's like a perfect circle. It's this, a, it's a downhill into insanity. It's a fucking Mobius strip is what it is. Yeah, exactly. So, the whole idea of this is that Jennifer Tilly is in the movie playing herself. Yeah. You know, the the voice of Tiffany is in the movie as the actual actress. Yeah. And the whole idea of it is that she's working in the movie yeah, she, as Tiffany. Yeah, she's she's working as Tiffany in the movie, and she wants to move her way up. She's real sick of playing like a bunch of crappy B roles. She wants to be in good movies. Yeah, it, it's almost like My Name Is Bruce in a lot of ways in that regard, where you have a very meta look at an actor's career. Yeah, and, and the whole idea is Chucky and and Tiffany decide to stalk her and fuck up her life, and they have the weirdest goddamn idea where it's like, let's have another kid, but. Let's just use Jennifer Tilly. Yeah, well, like, we, we want to swap all our bodies into, into people, but in order to do that, of course, we need to have... Bodies. Yeah, we need to have a body for, for Glenn slash Glinda. Uh, so what they decide to do is they're going to knock Jennifer Tilly up. Yeah, and, and then, like, just fucking put Glenn inside it. <laughs> yeah, they're going to put Glenn inside, inside the baby's body. So in order to do this, like, Jennifer Tilly... Uh, she wants to get a better role for, for her movies and everything, so she, she decides to sleep with, with a director to further her career, as it were. Yeah. And then they and then Chucky's like, okay, I'll just steal this director's body, and then you can just steal her body, and then Glenn can steal whatever the fuck comes out of her. Yeah, so yeah. We, so they, he, they knock her out. They knock both of them out, actually. Uh, yeah. Throw them on the bed, tie her legs like behind her head, Turkey baster Chucky semen, which you get to see see doll dick shaft and doll boobies, which is like shit I, I never want to see in my life. That was the point where we were like, what the fuck is this? And they turkey based uh, Chucky semen all up inside Jennifer Tilly to yeah. impregnate her. Yeah, and then and then it just goes along with that, and this the ending to this movie goes batshit nuts. Yeah. Where the whole idea of it is that Tiffany is trying to not be a murderer anymore because she wants to set a good example for the kids. And Chucky is fully like, no, I'm a killer doll. I kill whoever the fuck I want. Yeah. And it's just so goddamn fucking strange because yeah. they treat it as like an alcoholism thing or like a, a drug addiction thing. Where yeah. You need to you need to follow these 12 steps to, to improve yourself. Yeah. And whenever Tiffany kills somebody, she calls it a slip up. And, yeah. And it's just so fucking weird. Like the, the humor to this is very much you will either laugh or you're like, what the hell is this? Yeah. What the fuck is going on? Yeah. And then... It, it, the movie feels like it, it, like it's going in at like several points, multiple, multiple points. Yeah, but it just, it just keeps on going. Yeah, and okay, Bride of Chucky reeks of the '90s. Yeah, this reeks of like the mid 2000s. Yeah, there's literally a scene where um, uh, Britney Spears cuts Chucky off 
Yeah, and he fucking kills her. And he, fu he fucking kills her for it. Yeah, like, there's just so... Like, even just the way the movie looks, it looks like something from, like, 2006. Like, yeah. the first Transformers movie where it had that over, overly bright bloom that made everything look orange. Like, yeah. that, that kind of thing where it's like, holy shit, this... Yeah, this feels old. Yeah. And, you know, we have to emphasize, the movie's not bad, it's just so fucking weird. Yeah, like, my, my favorite part of the movie was actually... Whenever, whenever Jennifer Tilly goes into labor, yeah, that just goes south so fucking fast. Yeah, she she goes into labor. She's like she's giving birth to kids. They're they're finding out that both of them keep keep breaking uh breaking like they, they swore off killing. They found out that both of them have broken that. You yeah. know, Tilly killed Red Man, which is the the guy the, the, the director. director. Uh, Chucky killed John Chucky, Waters. Yeah, Ch Chucky killed John Waters and like thirty other people. Stuffed them in the closet. Glenn's having a mental breakdown because he doesn't like people killing each other, and he doesn't know, like he doesn't know whether he is a he or a she. Yeah, like okay, the the whole thing with Glenn is isn't even that. Oh, I'm having a mental breakdown because my parents are killing people. It's I'm having a mental breakdown because I have legitimate gender dysphoria. Like I don't I don't know what the fuck is going on. There's there's literally nothing between my legs to help me like with anything. Yeah. And I have my dad saying he wants a boy. My mom saying she wants a girl. And like, they're just putting this weird fucking choice on me. It gets so fucking weird and fucked up to the point where it's like, what the hell is going on? And then Glenn just mentally snaps. The, yeah, completely. The assistant comes in and Chucky's like, oh, you know what? Fuck it. You know, you guys can keep doing your bodies or whatever, but I don't want a body. I'm going to be killer doll forever. Yeah, he just accepts it. Yeah, so he, he he's like, I'm going to kill her. But Glenn's already snapped and literally takes an aerosol can and a fucking lighter. And just burns her alive. Burns her alive. Yeah, and, and that's kind of the point where, where he's so fucked up, he freaks out Chucky he's, and Tiffany. He's freaking Chucky out, which is great, because, like, Gl Glinda has some lines where she's saying something, and, and uh, uh, Tilly's trying to, like, talk to her, and Chucky's just in the background, and you see it cuts to his face, and he's like, what the fuck? Yeah, like, you know you know you have good animatronics when you can tell, like, <laughs> yeah. a doll is genuinely disturbed. <laughs> yeah. He's just like... What what happened to you? He doesn't even need, he doesn't even need to use his fucking voice for this. He just like he's just fucking disturbed. Yeah, and and it, it is such a strange little movie. It's it's fun. I will oh, say yeah. it's definitely fun. Especially if you can get some friends and you know possibly get drunk while watching this, you'll probably have the time of your life. Yeah. Just don't go in expecting a com uh, horror movie. Go in expecting a comedy completely, 100. percent Yeah, this is this is a complete like 180 from the original like Chucky movie. Yeah, especially some of the later ones coming. Oh yeah. Yeah, this is its own beast. Yeah.